Alright, so I bet you all noticed that uh, there was a sudden and abrupt end to the previous video. That was because I ran out of hard drives. My recording drive is not as big as I would like it to be. So... Sure. Here we have a big old bear. Oh hey, you get a level. Um, get two points of stealth. Point of mechanics. Point of survival and a point of athletics. What the hell? Now, I did look over this and I knew which ones that I wanted. One of them was... That one, Combusting Wounds. This one uh, causes 5 burn damage for 26 seconds, so it does a total of 130 damage. It does take time for it to go in, but it's worth every fucking second of it. And then the other one that we want I think is Necrotic Lance. 37 to 48 corrode. 17 extra corrode over 17 seconds. Yep, we're going to take Necrotic Lance. No new talent unlocks. Okay, so here's how we're rolling through this one. Yes. First of all, grab that. I'll take care of it. <laughs> then... You're going to shoot the bear. You're going to approach the bear to attack. You're not going to shoot the bear yet. Yeah, you're going to go attack the bear. Alright. Now you... are going to ignite the bear. You are going to shoot the bear. Mm. And you are going to flurry of blows that motherfucker. Arctic where sun rust. Why are you not shooting the bear? Alright, well, no we're gonna do that. Oh god, the warrior is down. Hi? Uh, Necrotic Lance him. Lava will be on seek. Eh, he's just taking a nap. He's fine. Well. All right, let's take the bear pelt. A figure drifts suspended in the musty air of the cavern. Its form and features blur and twist in a cascading ripples of incandescence. You feel its energy eddying about your limbs, filling them with a heavy chill. You reach out a hand for the spirit. In the moment of contact, you feel as if you have been struck by a blow, head reeling as you tumble helplessly into a waiting darkness. Light blooms at the edge of your vision. You feel the sun at your back and the weight of a bow in your hand. You know, suddenly, that you've come a long way from the Vale hunting deer. Now you're standing before a cavern, and the darkness extends far into its depths. Even so, your friend strides out before you, his red cloak flapping at his heels. You follow, heart hammering in your chest as he leads you deeper into the cavern. There is a roar like thunder echoing around you. 
Fear seizes you, casts you stumbling back towards the exit, towards light and escape. You see a glint of steel and there is a sudden terrible flash of agony behind your knee. You scream, stumble, and fall. Your thoughts are chaos, lanced through the pa- with pain, but in a moment of terrible clarity you see your friend look back from the mouth of the cavern, his dagger dub- daubed in crimson to match his cloak. And there is a great dark shape above you, and then there is pain. The vision recedes, and you are thrown back into yourself with a seemingly resentful force. The corpse lies at your feet, and the specter lingers. In the span of energy between you both, you feel a sense of questioning, of confusion, of anger. Uh, it seems you met, I met him on the road. Sudden lashing anger from, emanates from the spirit. Rage and grief seem to pour from the gleaming figure like smoke. Yeah, alright, I'll kill him for you. For the moment, the spirit seems to burn bright and your head fills with sickly triumph. The spirit seems to weaken with the force of its own exultation, growing fainter and fainter until you are alone once more. Alright, so... A blade in the dark. Of course. There's something ahead. Yeah, it's... And five dollars. Give me my five dollars. Like somebody had a camp in here before, you know, bear came to eat him. Okay, why don't you give that to him? And in fact, why don't you just drop that right in a quick slot? Goes in there. Goes in there. Yeah, sure. Alright. So, we found the friend. We found the missing caravan guy. At this point... Let's just head back to the town. Let's see what else we can find here. All right, so let's kick it into high gear. They were next to the shop. Was it this one? Nope. This one. That's such a useful mechanic. Why, yes. Well met, friend. I know what really happened in that cave mountain. Color drains from his face. I, I don't know what you mean. I told you the truth of it. Are you accusing him of something? Ingrid to looks to Naughton, touching his arm. If this is about the accident, we're both grieving Pearlie's loss, but it was a wild animal's doing. W- what would make you suggest such a thing? Why did you do it? He was your friend. Naughton hesitates, and then expression his expression darkens. My friend. He was a cruel enough man to his friends. You didn't know him. You wouldn't defend him if you did. His hand falls to his sword belt. Not in wait, Ingrid waves a hand. I don't know what you saw in that cave, but this isn't what you think. Perry, my husband, he was as much a beast as that bear. I tried to leave the first time I suffered his temper, but he wouldn't have it. She looks away, expression pained. Not in he... We met, and I knew I'd found someone special, someone kind. 
who cared for me. Oh my god, they're in it together. Please, all we want is to leave this place, to start somewhere else. We, she looks down at the satchels. We have some coin. You, you could have it if only you'll let us go. Ah, Pearly doesn't deserve a, doesn't get a second chance. You two don't deserve one either. Blind fool, he says. You won't take this from us, not for that wretch. Oh, huh? yeah, I will. Okay, you start beating on that guy. What is it? How may I help? You run over here. Yes. Hi. You cast Fan of Flame there. Yes. Ah, thick were some rocks. Yes. Everybody gets hit. Well. Fight back, you stupid bastard. Alright. That couple daggers. Simple clothes. A minor ring of deflection. Oh yeah, that doesn't do anything for you. Here, have the Ring of Deflection instead. You wear that. Alrighty. Right. Well, that's one murder down I had nothing to do with. Let's see what else we got going on here. Travel to Black Meadow. I gotta go back to the Hound Inn. Scary down there. And... Now we get a discount here on, I guess, rooms and shit. Welcome. Oh, it's you. Tenford told us what you did for him, and it's such a relief to have him back. I can't thank you enough. Consider the, yourself a favorite of the house. Discounts on drinks, rooms. Tenford said he wanted to whip up something nice for you. He's already back to work in the kitchen. She laughs. What would you like? I'd like a room. Certainly, you're always welcome. Alright, we're just going to take the common room. So now... What do we got to do here? Travel to Black Meadow. Travel to Kaya Nua. And there's stuff inside this temple. But I'm afraid of it. Because it's scary. Yes? Of course. Right. It's super duper scary. We'll give it a trick, quick try, and if it doesn't work, we'll move on to the next place and come back to it later. And yes, I will, because I'm that kind of a jackass. Rising sun and three dawn stars, the symbol of Eothas. 
Yothis. Hi. A man lies resting against the wall, lit by the dim illumination of the fading sconces. He has a gaunt, fox-like aspect, and his face is pale and damp with sweat. One arm is held loosely against his side, sleeve soaked with blood. He gives you an ancient glance as you near, his fa features twisted with pain. Good day, stranger. Ah, I thought you were some... Never mind. Whoever you are, you've traveled a long way to reach a dark place. This temple isn't what it used to be, probably for the best, times that being as they are. I'm no looter, if that's what you're thinking. Not one of the faithful, either. Just wanted to do some good, I suppose. Got my arm clawed up for it. He regards you wearily. Maybe you'd have better luck. What happened to you? I was trying to avoid the spiders, he breathes a quiet laugh. Ran into a skulder. Might have gone a little better for me if the beast had knocked his, the sword right out of my hand. Good blade, too. Probably still lying there in the dust, he smiles wearily. But I'm not, so that's alright. It's not a bad wound, I think. It just hurts. What are you even doing down here? These ruins around us used to be a temple of Eothis, the scattered god. A grand temple at that. His worshippers would come from all over the direwood. From Red Saras, even. Until the war, of course. Even then, you'd get some of the stubborn ones. The ones that couldn't get it through their heads that their god was dead and gone. Is this really the time for a history lesson? Burton just laughs and winces as it jostles his arm. Just giving you the full story is all. What I want is to get is in the deeper inside the temple where the priests live. Lord Redrick had them killed, same as the poor bastards on that tree outside. The temple's been sealed up for years since, until just a short time ago. That's where I got involved, and you now, I hope. He pauses to breathe a moment. The priests, if you can find their remains. Well, maybe you can finally give them a proper burial. Uh, I got some questions. Any chance there's something down there worth more than some old bones? He looks around. Probably. Nobody's been through the place since it was sealed up. Well, apart from me, and I didn't touch anything. Any valuables in there, you get first crack at them. I only ask that you do a favor for me while you're at it. Why can't you do it? Well, I tried. Only got a short way before I got in over my head. He grimaces. I haven't raised a blade in a long time. Turns out it's not something you just pick up again. But you look like you can handle yourself. All right. No more questions. Let's just do it. They're long dead. What does it matter when they're buried? It's it's about respect, isn't it? He deserves being re to be remembered. Don't just toss under a pile of rock and forgotten. He breathes out shakily. I thought worth the effort giving it to them. I take it you're not supposed to be in here. He laughs bleakly. Well, I meant to be in and out nice and quick. I'm not hurting anyone. It's just... Lord Redrick has forbidden anyone anything to do with the scattered god. It'd be a little harder to explain to him than you. It, it's a good cause, though, isn't it? And you could make some coin in the process. Yeah, I'll take a look. Then by the flame, I owe you a good turn. But listen, the temple's been sealed off for so long, it's been crawling with creatures. But if you get past them, the priests would have been on the lower floor. They'd still be in there if they're anywhere. Those priests had all kinds of secret chambers. Switches in the walls, trick sconces, that kind of thing. Keep an eye out and take care down there. I wouldn't want to have to send somebody else after your remains. He looks up the stairs. You might talk to that eater fellow. If Raedric hasn't hanged him yet, word is that he's a follower of the dead god. Maybe he'll know something more about this place. He's usually out by the smithy. I'll wait here by the stairs and keep a lookout. Maybe try to patch myself up some. I'm going to go back and talk to that dude. Because let me tell you, there's some scary shit. I went in there at one point. Got Will-O-Wisped to death. Maybe he'll give me some sort of magical weapon. Z-Weapons. Up by the smith. Oh, here's the smith. Looking for a dude. Looking for a dude. Hmm. Right. 
We know there's more grain in there, Trumbull. We won't settle for scraps while you grow fat on our crops. A muffled shouting emerges from inside the mill. The first of you drunkards that comes through the door gets a shot between your eyes. God, hear me, Swiner. I'll put you down like a dog. Come not away for now, lads. But we'll be back, Trumbull. And we'll have fair prices or by flame we'll have a reckoning. That man walks funny. The guy with the spear there. Hmm. Okay, none of these people are who I'm looking for. Oh, hey. I'm looking for a guy. He look like a man. this entire town. Okay, that's a way out. It's really hard to see this map at night. Um, a I should be doing that. Dark. God, I need to be sneaking to find hidden shit. Let's check inside the blacksmiths. Where the fuck are you, Eben? Okay, so this apparently is not the blacksmith. That's the blacksmith with the big fucking sign. Alright, Eben, where you at? Maybe he's this guy over here smoking a stove. Legacy, eh? Your character's biography writes itself as your adventures unfold. Commoner. Harlan. Dugan. Guard, apprentice. Welcome. Yeah, I'd like to see your wares. <laughs> Regular sword. Don't need it. Yeah, I don't need all this leather armor. Okay. Oh, 666 gold. Uh, I'd like to talk to you about a guy named Eben. Guess I 
because it's bad news. He said that he hangs out by the blacksmith. Oh, well, I'll be goddamn. Whoa, that's awesome! It's a rare thing that for you to stray anywhere, stay anywhere for a length of time. You pass from town to town, moving on when it suits you. And the open road is the closest thing you've had to a home. You hail from the white that wends, where you have moved from place to place in an effort to evade the people looking for you. They would seem to be under the impression that you have something of value to them, and they are determined to take it back. From you. Your only option is to keep moving. Gilded Vale is merely a gateway for you into a new life in which you build your fortune and you expect that you may not stay there for the long term. You feel, feel ill, will, etc. Etc. Nothing about murdering a bear. I think that it should mention the bear. Ah... Uh. So I can't find anything on this Ebon fellow. Let's take a quick pass around here and see what we can come up with. Yes, Cat, I know your life is tragedy and pain. Always tragedy and pain. Villager. Villager. None of those people are named Eben. said I could find Eben. Talk to him. Why you know lie? Why you know tell truth? <coughs> Excuse me. Alright. Turn off fast, Bill. Begin Operation Sneaky Pants. Because our pants are sneaky. So this way, we don't really want to go. No. Oh, shit. I don't want any part of that. Hi? I was really hoping to avoid that completely. Well? What is it? Lava Ruby. Oh, fucking plane. No, don't attack him, you idiot. Hmm. I want you to necrotic lance that thing. Well... You 
to go that way. Huh. Said I want you to go that that way. Kill them all. So much for you. Yeah. Now you attack that, and I? for the love of God, cast your fucking spell at that. Oh my God! You fucking killing? Kidding me? Oh my god, I won. Huh? Right. He got wrecked, but these things happen. Nice and slow. The parchment is worn and tattered, and the ink upon it fades. This is in this time of hardship. I said, in this time of hardship, must have just as much faith in ourselves. And there's nothing in here to search. That kind of a fucking fight. And there's nothing to find in this room. Apparently is this brick. Some Adra and some coins. Okay. Let's see. Do we have another entrance down here? Yes, we do. Ivory Spiderling. Two of them. Huh? I want you to go after that one. What is it? I want you to shoot that one. And you... How may I help? That range? That's not ranged. You're just gonna chill yeah. there. Yeah. Keep doing what you're doing. What is it? Which weapons? Run over here. No prisoners! As you wish. Oh god, that's getting yeah. to be a lot of them. Um so much for you. Oh, that's a big one. Yes. Oh, that's one for rest. Yes. That per rest? No, nope, per encounter. So much for you. Still alive? I need something sharper. What is it? Of course. Yes, of course. These ones are in for a walloping! Well, we managed to kill it. Mm -hmm. This is already not going well. I shall be discreet. Let's uh, take a quick trip around the room. Just to see if we can find anything hidden in the passages here. I see something. I'll come back to you. Whoever sat here left in a hurry, ink has dripped across the scroll, obscuring its contents. Uh, it's a waste. Jasper and a letter home. Mother. I have asked Brother Edric to carry this letter to you, for he travels to New Heomar come morning. With him goes what coin I have, and I hope it will ease the surprise of an unexpected homecoming, for I mean to follow in a few days' time. Our village is very much changed, and though I do not wish for you to worry, I do not feel that it is safe to remain. I know Rectrix Obrica will not approve, but the letter trails off here. This pile of furniture is branded with scorch marks. Alright, so we've gotten wrecked pretty bad. Let's yes, have you, as you sneak wish. up a little bit here and see what else we can find if we're being spotted. Huh. Alright, you are going to charge 
Yes, you I'll are going to follow him. Carol. You're going to follow him. Hi. Hi? Indeed. Hmm. Keeping quiet. All right, what do we got here? These collapsed stones are pocked with burrows and narrow crevices. Claw marks and dung marks. Dung marks sure. the passage of beasts. Beasts. Just pile drive this guy. What do we got here? Vermin nice have scoured so these plates, though mold still grows in the green black clumps across the table. Ew. Well, why don't you scout this fucking room, lady? Huh? Right. I'll take care of it. Anything over here in this rock pile? Negative. What's in the next room? Oh my. 38, 36, 48, 21. Well, I think I found where dude. Let's see what all he's got here. Two of them. All right, so what we're going to do yeah. is we're going to start. Sure. You are going to drop busting wounds. Preferably hit both of them. Please don't get busted. Oh, thick yeah. yeah. How may I help? Change of plans. What is it? Charge. Yeah. Pretty charge. Wow, they're going to put him down in one attack. Huh? Use your blazing thingamabob. Well. You cripple that motherfucker. Oh god, another one. I need you both on that. First, I want you to cripple him. Down. Then I want you to use that. Bastards. Oh, too fast. Huh? Why are you so slow? Oh my god! Looks bad. We'll kill it! Oh, thank god. Okay. Yeah. So we need to camp. Oh, fuck. Brought that on myself, didn't I? Yeah. Well. Who's that? Hi? Huh? Yes. Hi. Keep it. it. Hmm. Nice and slow. All right. Let's make sure that this room is empty now. Okay. So this room is empty, so now what we're going to do is we're going to camp here momentarily, um, and then, yeah, definitely camp. And then once we finish camping, we will come back and carry on.
through the dungeon. Be right back. <laughs>